My wish is for you to help a strong, sustainable movement to educate every child about food. To inspire families to cook again and to empower people everywhere to fight obesity. I came here to start a food revolution that I profoundly believe in. They had a big idea to change the world, but they couldn't do it alone. So my wish. So my wish. I wish. So now my wish. And now here's my wish. Food is simple, it's just raw ingredients. But it's the most powerful killer on the planet. Every child has the human right to be taught about food, where it comes from, how it affects their body. And they should be shown at school, because it's at the front line of the fight against obesity. What happens at Child Manor is that incredible head teacher took it to the next level. In the past, the children weren't eating the right things. I'd been inspired by Jamie to educate the school about the fact that we're feeding the children the wrong food. And I thought, well, the timetable was an already crowded place. There is so many lessons in the primary curriculum. How can you introduce another subject for teachers to teach? So we looked at English, we looked at maths, science, history, geography, and we saw how we could put that around food. When you incorporate cooking, it's something everyone looks forward to. Today we're doing a little bit of science in the kitchen. We are going to combine our lessons on Diwali, but also our lessons on shape and symmetry. Would you say this is a physical change or a chemical change that I'm physical. making? Physical change, you're all right. For history topics, we talk about the whole history of chocolate, and so we can do a whole topic around that. Okay, and the Aztecs have been cooking with chocolate and. And it's interesting because it's not made as they think with all the milk in that they would have had. And the taste is very, very different. Some children like it, some children don't. <laughs> For maths, simple weighing and measuring. We are going to be doing a lot of measuring because we have to measure out some liquids, which we did last term. We did some measuring. What he's done is he's put food at the heart of the school and he's fed the stomach and the mind. Child Matter is a state school. About 80% of children come from areas that are identified as in poverty. The children had very little experience of being outside in the countryside, knowing about food growing. Over a period of time, we were able to build a garden. Welcome to the Secret Garden! This is our greenhouse. This is our compost bin. This is our armory. This is our vegetable patch. And these are our chickens. The chickens come out and they try and chase you. I had to run for my life. Up at the community garden, we've got two polytunnels so we can grow all year round. I will pick onions, broccoli and carrots because they're all healthy, they make you stronger, obviously, and they just make me happy. So yeah. Twelve or thirteen years ago there was a reluctance to engage in this sort of curriculum. There were many people that couldn't see what we were aiming for and what we were trying to do. Obesity hadn't reached the epidemic proportions that it's reached now. We're getting children that look and appear more healthy. Concentration is so much higher. Behaviour issues are incredibly lower than they have been in the past. One of the great things they've done is introduce us to worlds of healthy food. Before I was a really picky eater. I feel better when I eat healthier food. You fail your maths A level. That's not going to shorten your life by 10 years. You don't die young because you didn't do your geography homework. These kids die young if they don't know how to feed themselves. I think Tim and the team 
would inspire head teachers across the world and parents. Any teacher has the same capacity to be as brilliant as he is. His story we want to replicate, but the truth is we've got so much more to do. Jamie really revolutionised our school dinners and it really has hugely impacted on all of the children, but so many in a deep way which is going to stick with them for the rest of their lives. When you change a life like that, it makes it all worthwhile. From all of us at Charlton Manor, thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Jamie.